all things here for plans. We're still here. We're still hanging out. Still at the con. But uh, I did get some new enclosures. I got some supplies. I need to go get some dubious. Well set up. Is this the Oaks? The Oaks. This is a Repticon in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. That, my friend, is what this is. And we're live for another uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to get you guys, uh, get you guys some good footage. I gotta buy a couple things and then peace out. And I may come back tomorrow. I, I don't know yet. Maybe. Sumbawa. Oh, the Oaks. Oh, no, no. This is, uh... No, this is, uh... This is the Arepticon. Is the... Look for a certain snake. Uh, no. I don't think I'll get a snake today. Hi there, Ethan. What's uh, a versa? A versa type of tarantula. What? <laughs> wow. See these milk snakes? You mean like a versa color? I showed these earlier. Oh, look at the dogs. The Frenchie. Got a Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchie. A Versicolor? I saw some Versicolors. I think they're Carabiner both Versicolors. And if that's what you're talking about, I'm not aware of their things. Yeah, guys, look at, look at the selection. These are all tarantulas right here. All tarantulas. Lots of tarantulas. Got your uh, Asamanis. So I'm about to buy one of these, um, you know, from like a reputable vendor. There's some really big centipedes too, if you guys want to see that. Here, I'll show them. I'll show you guys this giant. Yeah, check out this. Um, Scolopantra Dahani. That's one thing a lot of people talk about. That is a huge centipede. Yeah. Goliath Red. Oh, just taking a look? No. <laughs> I'd prefer not to. <laughs> I'm, yeah, she'll hold, she will hold you. Yep. <laughs> I would not want to. <laughs> I've heard that's some bad pain. Uh, buddy of mine is a photographer. Got bit in Miami by a Vietnamese centipede, and he been bit by a rattlesnake. He said it was worse. Than worse than yeah, that's what I've heard. People say it's like a hot nail being nailed into you, and you can't get rid of the pain. It's bad. He had chills, throbbing, fever, nausea, and he felt like he was dying. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's uh. <laughs> Not for me. I don't know if I'll ever own a centipede, but they're interesting. I've had a lot of them. Carried a lot of them. You just gotta, you gotta have an escape proof container. You gotta work in a big tote box. Yeah. And they're fast, and you gotta, you gotta corral them where you want them to go and not give them any options. Um, yeah. And then some people got bit because they go up with thumb tweezers. You gotta have that mental signal that says let go. Because it's only a second more and they're on their yeah. arm. And you got to let go of stuff when you can't handle it and too fast. Yeah. You can't, you can't have a stuck moment with them. you gotta, you got to be sharp. Yeah. So oh, yeah. It's just like having a cold one. They're cool, though, man. Check it out, guys. On the side of the cubby, where's the net? That's the cubby. 
is the problem. Am I getting any animals? Yeah, I'm going to get a uh, fully grown uh, female uh, age Niculata. Acanthus gray age Niculata. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I might get I might get a Nandu tripepi. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 We shall see. But that's the cavi. Looks like a rabbit, right? But it's actually a giant rodent. Uh, and right next to the cavi, there are uh, little bait. They're called micro squirrels. We got some hedgehogs here. Hedgehogs here. I'll show you guys. This is the Nandu. It's the Nandu Trey Peppy. Look how beautiful. And then here's our. Uh, <laughs> I'm still I'm still debating whether I want this this uh, calciatum or not, man. They're also, I think everybody so should have unique. subfamily at least one subfamily stromatopelmini in their in their collection yeah. somewhere. Whether it's heteroscogia regulata or stromatopelma calciatum, everybody should have at least one. Yeah. You need a spider. <laughs> you need, you need the, the discipline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta decide if I want something besides the AG. <laughs> the genetic, yeah. Because I think I do. Oh man. I think I do. Yeah, a bunch of stuff here, man. So yeah, the Nandu Tripepi. Here's a curly hair. Look how pretty this curly hair is, man. I don't think you have any cobalt blues, do you? Don't, not yeah. at the moment. It, yeah, no, those things. Slings are larger. I'm yeah. <laughs> completely out of limits. They're angry. Pueblin Stoutlet. What did you do? Pueblin Stoutlet. Day one. Yeah. One. Pretty neat. Yeah, I'm still in the So, one or not, and I sold a Saturday, the original Saturday, I was still water bowl that I bought. Um, yeah. So here is the uh, here are the manises. Oh, the curlies, yeah, the curlies are cool. I haven't gotten over fear of spiders, so I actually uh, I got into spiders to get over my fear of spiders. So uh, that's how I got kind of got into this hobby was to uh, you know conquer that fear, and it worked. I bought a Gramostola pulchra four years ago, and uh, I'm not afraid of spiders. It's pretty cool. This is in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Even selling trap door spiders. Oh, really awesome that. ball python species. Clowns. Hide. Get that spider, please. Which one? What's up, bees? Okay. 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 These guys have a really nice display. They got all these pied ball pythons. It was like uh, the gray or the white. Jumping spiders, yeah, check them out and look at them. Babies, they look amazing. Paradox face, dude. Look how look how unique this morph is. Like how cool is that? It's very, very cool. axolotls cow morphs uh, I think there are yeah oh yeah champagne Spider you want, I guess. Baby monitors. What? They got these leeches, guys. 
Jeez. Will I get the age of Nikola today? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they got this bioactive man. Their game. Now check these out. <laughs> Got some breeder snakes here. Some blood pythons here. Dude, I love the blood pythons are so cool. They get they get pretty wide, you know? And they can be, you know, feisty. Thanks for sharing the line, Heather. So pretty I know, right? I know. I think these are carpets. So I think these are carpet pythons. Different morphs of carpets. Carpets are really cool too. Reptile, the Reptile Talk Podcast. Check it out, guys. They do a podcast. That's neat. Look at this. Look at the little... <laughs> they got little plushies for uh, Axolotl. Check out these um, entire row of Cresties. See the Cresties? Crested geckos. I love Cresties. Never had it. Check them out. Blackburn Exotics. I think these are the best leopard geckos I've seen all day, too. So if you like leopard geckos, these look the healthiest. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Are you uh, the leopard gecko? Okay. And then he's the crusty. You just do these? Oh, okay. Very cool. Oh, look at these, man. Blood Emerine Hoss Pet. That's cool. I really like this one, man. Black Knight Max Snow. That is really neat. These guys just need heat, basically. Yeah. The crested geckos, they don't need any heat because their temperature and then the leopard geckos do. Okay. Gotcha. I have never seen this. Do you breed all these yourself? Yeah. I have never seen this many, this much variety of leopard gecko. You guys are on Morph Market, too? Uh, yeah. It's not updated at the moment because we have a one-year-old that's taking pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Gotcha. Okay. And we posted on Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. So. Okay. Gotcha. Very cool. Yeah, check them out, guys, if you like leopard geckos. Hot. Yo, yo, you guys for the father. These are all uh, White's tree frogs. Check them out. Oh my God. <laughs> you got good. So now he knows where I'm talking about. <laughs> Love this. This is a great enclosure. Love this one. Thank you. This was just our like little set enclosure. She has destroyed it today. She's huge. It used to be very pretty. You could see the T-Rex head and everything, but yeah. instead she has decided to. Uh, <laughs> she is. She is called a purple mutant or a phantom. Purple mutant, phantom, Pac-Man frog. Pac-Man frog, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Y'all are. Y'all are. Uh, Seventy-two people are watching. Oh, Thank snap. you. What's up, seventy-two? You, people? you got. You guys get. You got. You got like a business, like a like a sales pitch yeah. for for white for white street frogs. <laughs> we actually captive breed all of our white street frogs. We are not resellers. We captive breed in house, so yeah. all of the frogs that are available. Um, and then we of course care for them. We have multiple morphs as well. Multiple morphs. Um, blue phase, blue eye, gold flake. Um, we're actually importing a melanistic. Melanistic. From okay. Um, so we're gonna have some really cool white tree frogs as well as hognose snakes going on. I got some western. Got some hognose. I've got a hognose. Oh yeah. I got you. Very cool. Sterling exotics. You guys have a cart? Yes, we do. We've got a cart here, and then all of our business information, contact information is on the back. Well, there you go. There you go, TikTok folks. Thank you. Sterling Exotics, Sterling Exo, and uh, there's their Gmail. 
So if you guys want a hognose snake or uh, any kind of amphibians. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really cool, man. These, these guys are real professional. Real, real professional. Chameleons. Uh, the leopard gecko business, I don't remember. Um, by the way, the, all this stuff. Uh, if you guys want to watch like the, the VOD of this, go to YouTube and subscribe to it. It'll probably be out in the next week or so. I'll, uh, I'll try to walk back that way for you, though, friend. Uh, yeah, that is who I would buy leopards from, for sure. These guys have some nice ones, man. Nice chameleons. Ooh. Beautiful. So these guys are MKM chameleons. MKM chameleons. Yeah, this guy's got a uh, really nice like filtration systems. He's got a uh, like he's got really cool bonsai trees. Uh, what is the name of these guys? Oh, here we go. Wildlife outlet. So check this out, man. They got they have like a fog machine. What is a fog machine? That's really cool. <laughs> I've never seen something like that. Wow. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Is he just napping? He is. <laughs> yeah, he got all his energy out earlier today. Hi. Oh. He's digesting too. He ate. Good boy. <laughs> you can see his little sleepy tongue. Yeah. Carter snake from Florida. Some more snakes over here. Clown because I thought it was the same level as mine. Deep guy, I just think when you can go with the snake, I just have to get into the deep guy first. Wow. And then I got into tri-stripe. The jeans. Tri-stripe is still there. I agree. Expensivo, dude. Mumblebee Het Clown. I had to show people the chameleons again. The panther. Those are just so cool. Do you guys breed these? No one tell you when we decided not. Okay. We had too much. many projects. Too many projects. Yeah, I, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, these are the most unique panthers I've ever seen. They're really cool. Yeah, I think some people. I think some people like walked out with some. I thought I saw some people yeah, buy some. Yeah, all the three. Sold three. Yeah. Oh, they're so cool. I want to buy one. I just. I don't have the space. <laughs> yeah. Got some cool leopard geckos too. Albino ones. These are neat. So are they going to kick us out at four? Or? <laughs> they usually make some sort of an announcement, yeah. That's awesome. All right. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, usually they make some sort of an announcement or something. I don't know. Like, usually they make like a you've got 10 minutes yeah. like warning or something. So yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe PA's not working. Maybe they're not paying attention. I don't know. Still a lot of people here. Yeah, no, I, I think I think I, I talked to a few people that said traffic was really bad. And, and so a I think big that show. delayed some people arriving. And yeah, and then it takes time. Like if you want to walk around and see everything like this is a big it's a big show it's a big venue yeah it Raleigh takes time is. to navigate everything so, so i've got let's see i've got 212 people if you want to you want to give your spiel sure, again yeah yeah so what, this what is joe you know? <laughs> just so, uh, my name is joe merzlake i run Asheville wildside uh i've been working with captive breeding invertebrates for just that 20 years uh about mm. over 100 species in culture a broad diversity of theraphosid spiders a lot of true spiders mantids yeah. Beetles, roaches, centipedes, millipedes. It's got an exoskeleton. I, I try to work with it. Um, yeah. I've got. He's, he's, this bunch is. Of 
Yeah. Uh, I work with a lot of booth eggs. Uh, some really interesting things, like some fun species. This is Isometris maculatus. Uh, this is a really interesting communal scorpion. species from Southeast Asia uh, that are a very small boothid, but they're communally tolerant. They wow. culture very easily. They breed very easily in captivity. Um, so that's a, a fun, very unique, very uncommonly seen species. Uh, I've got the one species I work with. I, I love Hottentatas. So this is a captive born bred Hottentata bucariensis. Yeah. which is a uncommonly seen species of hot and tata. Mm. But yeah, so their venom is not as hot as say, uh, your, not as bad as like Lyris, Carabuthus or Androctinus, but m several species of hot and tata are considered or suspect medically significant. So it's, you know, it's yeah. not something I would encourage, you know, an envenomation from, but <laughs> uh, I've got a bunch of peds. I've got some really awesome true spiders. So this is Locked in a somatostoma. Red fang wandering spider. They're an African species of tinnid. Uh, oh, they are super bulky, otherwise I'd remove the lid, but I don't want to yeah. have to chase it across the table. But that's a mature female. I've got yeah, males you can see and the female red fangs specimens. Too. Very cool. I've never seen one of those. Got some centipedes. Yep, yep. In fact, we got one right here on the surface, which is doesn't happen often. From that's Hawaii. a Hawaiian giant. Hawaiian giant. That's a locality of Scolopendra subspinipes that occur naturally on the island yeah. of Hawaii due to just disbursement of their population throughout Southeast Asia, predominantly because of human transportation and, and, and transnaval uh, shipping lanes and things. Yeah. Uh, a lot of larvae. Yeah, the lar I was telling him about the larvae earlier, um, the, the giant ox beetle. Yeah, this guy's right near the surface, which makes displaying him easier. Yeah. This is a L3 Strategus alois, so it's on its third instar, which for the larva, this is the last stage of development before pupation. How much um, longer? So th with the age that these guys are, probably about another three to four months or so, uh, four these months. will begin wandering and attempting to find a location to pupate in. Yeah. yeah oh, they're man, big chunky so boys. Cool. Three to four months, okay. Something something to think about. Uh, got some other cool true spiders. We got some True Latrodectus bishopis. These are all girls out of our captive breeding group. Uh, I love Latrodectus. This is the Red Widows. Red um, Widows. They're the of, of the Native American species of, of Latrodectus. These have the smallest range in mm. central and southern Florida, predominantly around sand pines. On a scale, like how much, how similar is the venom to like a black widow? So all members of genus Latrodectus are considered medically significant. Mm. However, their venom is known to be. It's not as bad as Mactans or Latrodectus yeah. variolus. Still medically significant, still not something you'd want to have happen, but uh, it's not likely to land you in any serious in any serious trouble. That's good. I got some really cool fids. This is Phidibus octopuntatus, which is a not quite commonly seen species of North American jumping spider. They're found throughout the southwestern U.S. and after Regis and Audax, these are one of the largest species of Phidibus. Yeah, I was going to say this is one of the bigger jumping spider species yeah. I've ever seen. We just had success with our first captive breeding of Octopuntatus. We've got uh, several dozen little spiderlings mm -hmm. beginning to disperse and got some great mantis species. This is Omo mantis zebrata. These are fairly large, well started. Yeah. Fifth in stars. We've got a lot of a lot of mantis uh, fans out there. And we work with we work with 14 different species of praying mantis in culture, but availability mm. always fluctuates and yeah. based on longevity and reproductive cycle of these animals they are it is sporadic with availability but and mr joe was telling me earlier that that the the lifespan of these mantises are just so low relatively short you're looking High at metabolism. a year or so um certainly there are variations but you're looking at about a year approximately so this is pseudovades chlorophaea uh my absolute favorite native north american species of mantis these are commonly called unicorn mantids yeah um males and females both develop a conical spine structure in the center of the head similar to a unicorn horn yeah uh, but they're incredibly beautiful mantids oh yeah uh and and an easy species to culture and uh just you know it they are incredibly popular in Europe and areas where they don't originate from, but in the U.S., they've never been an incredibly popular species because they are native here. It's that whole paradox with black grass snakes. Yeah. They're native species of colubrids, so nobody really works with them, even though they're one of the best groups of snakes to work with. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we've got some Rhombodera's here. This is Rhombodera curvii. We work with a few different species of Rhombodera. They're the Asian shield mantids. Asian this species, shield. and you can see where they get their name, that thoracic plate is kind of starting to spread out and yeah. looks like a shield or a leaf structure. Um, Super unique. 
Yeah. Just, wow. And the Kirby Eye are found on the island of Timor. Um, and there is also a, dis, a disjointed population in Papua New Guinea as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, guys, this, I'm telling you, Joe's like the probably one of the most knowledgeable invert <laughs> people I know. But as Asheville, Asheville Wild, so I've been buying from him for the last three or four years. I'm about to buy an AG Nick from him. Um, do you do you have like a card that I can give them, like your, your all your website stuff? And oh yeah, there we go, guys. Check it out. All right, Asheville Wild Side, Jim knows that quality captive bred reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, and aquatics. Yeah, he's great. He's great. <laughs> yeah, I need to buy that. <laughs> Here's the AG Nick I'm gonna buy. Yeah. I guess I'll uh, I'll wait till Charlotte if I want to get the Nandu, I guess. Yeah, yeah, check her out, man. Yeah, she's beautiful. Adult Aegenic. She is incredible. Yeah. She's about to go home with me. <laughs> uh, oh, she kicked a little you bit. A little bit. A little, a little, little bit feisty. Yep, yep. A little urticating bristles there. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Um, but I'll go ahead and grab her. Um, hey, I've got... Uh, Pumotheria ornatas and Epibopus uottomans as freebies if you want one of those. What's the what's the uottoman? Uh, they are the emerald skeletons. Emerald. So I used to have an Epibopus, Epibopus yeah, marinus. That's a picture of one of my girls. Okay. That's Epibopus uottoman. They're the emerald skeleton legs. Exact same care as Miranus. They don't get quite as large as Miranus. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Same exact care. They're they're very fossorial. Very, very fossorial. Yeah, yeah. My uh, I, I hardly ever saw my my yeah. Miranus. <laughs> no, a happy one you um, won't. So yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll take one of those slings sure. too. Um, and then yeah, in, in in a couple weeks if you go to Charlotte, man, yep, bring bring any and all uh, variety of stuff. We will be in Charlotte, and I will have the uh, Solo Rosea slings by then too. Yeah. Yeah, and they're really well started. Well, it just shot down into its burrow, but they're right around a half inch or so and okay. eating anything that moves. So. <laughs> Very cool. Now, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Ooh, madam. Yeah, I'll have uh, I'll have the Rosea slings and I'll have I've got Macrothele Calpiana and a few of the I've got some of the Macrothele uh, SP Fago, which are the Thai species of yeah. Macrothele. Um, the big funnel web spiders in yeah. there. Oh, those They're are super cool. spicy. You also have some huntsmen's, I think, too. Yeah, I've got very less this also that was technically a crab spider, but I'll have some other huntsmen's available then too. I've got heteropoda lanula uh, and I think Hulconia and Cygnus arriving next week too. Gotcha. So it's we'll have we'll have a bunch more true spiders yeah. available. And I, I may buy I may buy the Calciatum. <laughs> I may buy this calciatum at, in Charlotte. We'll I see. I would love some. <laughs> so you just don't want to have to deal. <laughs> oh, she's moving. Yeah, she's not, she's not happy. So yeah, she's, <laughs> she's an angry girl. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, I wanted to get a, an agenic. You've got a much larger female agenic than uh, this vendor, and that, that had a couple in Charlotte yeah. for a hundred dollars more. Oh wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, awesome, man. I'm glad she's going home with you. And again, yeah. uh, when that male is when that male's done, uh, I've, I've, I'll run him through my biggest girl, uh, and then I'm more than happy to. Which generally, Geniculata aren't terrible with with males. Like I've never lost yeah. the male, so uh, there's no reason to think that she'll suddenly become super aggressive. But uh, if you wanna if you wanna take a crack at it and run, because she's she's a big girl. Like, yeah. She's she's ready to go. She hasn't so. bred yet, right? No, she's, she's never not. bred. Okay. Yeah, she's it's, never bred. Okay. So yeah. Cool, uh, but yeah, I'll happily bring you bring you the mail and let you give it a run and, and see what kind of success you have. Okay, and I'll check out. I'll, I'll try to remember to look at your website before Charlotte in yeah. a couple weeks, so I can if there's anything on yeah, there. That... Yeah, if there's something that you definitely want, let me know ahead of time. Okay, and I'll, I'll pull it and bring it just for you. So yeah, very cool. All right, awesome. thank you so much, buddy. Thanks, man. Have yeah. a great one. Yeah, dude, you guys. You guys okay. AshevilleWildside.com and Joe Melzac, quality captive bred reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, and aquatics. Another little snapshot here. Bunch of, bunch of other animals. Hopefully, I didn't miss them. Oh yeah, check it out. There's a Mata Mata turtle. Mata Mata. Cresties. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Man. It's very cool. So we got some beardies before we before we peace out. Some beardies. More beardies. Pretty neat. But yeah, the coolest animal we saw today was that uh, that giant road the cat. How's it going, buddy? Good, how are you? Sand boas, huh? Any sand boas, yeah, we got some good walk. No scales on the end. Okay. 
market for snake? I, I was actually considering a Sambo not too long ago. I settled for a Western hog nose, but I still may get a Sambo one day. What are you? Tiny serpents. Tiny serpents. Okay, cool. We have a Facebook page too. Facebook page? Okay. Yeah, and we're local. Okay, you guys local to Raleigh. Um, Garner. Garner. Yeah. Off 4042. Check them out, guys. Tiny serpents. If you're uh, interested, these are really nice looking uh, Kenyan Samboas. A lot of cool morphs. Sambos are pretty cool, pretty unique. Good starter snakes. Great. Very cool. Crested geckos. I know I am. I know I see the smaller rods. Is that good? That's all I want. Next snake yet? Oh, yeah. They're great. Here's our geniculata we got. A really good deal on a seven inch female. And then we got a uh, Ephibopus Uataman, uh, Uataman, in there too. About a half inch. I was trying to not scare her too bad. She's probably gonna kick a little bit. Hey, girl. She's uh, she's big, dude. Oops, she's a big girl. Look at her. She's a big girl, dude. She's trying to get out. It's funny. Give her some of that milkshake. Yeah, you saw that on the floor. Yeah, I put it. I put it under the, uh, you know, under my. Uh... Yeah, dude, is she not amazing though? I got her a great deal on her. I know you want to get out. I know. I know. Dude, apparently she is a big eater. The Ephibopus sling. So you can kind of see him. See him in there barely you feed her i feed her uh well she'll she, i want to feed her dubias gut loaded dubias but uh i ran out of time to get dubias today i should have gotten them a little earlier but that's an ephibopus you whoops ephibopus you there we go you very fossorial species 